Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining Create with D. This is D Slater, and I'm popping on my Facebook Live here unannounced because I'm just so excited to share with you this basket project that I came across, and um, I just wanted to share it with all of you guys. This is perfect for, um, for Easter. This is right around the corner, and I'm having fun playing with the pastel colors here. And I just wanted to kind of share with you how nice and big and sturdy these baskets are. And um, just to kind of let you know how much you can fill into it, you can get a, a good um, four eggs and lots of little treats. I do have some other ideas for our basket um, at the end of this of what you could use this for. But again, it's kind of perfect timing for Easter. Okay, let's get started making this. And I'm going to bring in my scoring tool. This is the Simply Scored. And what we're going to do is start with a piece of cardstock cut at eight and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score it at two and five eighths on all four sides. So on your scoring tool, it's the half, half inch plus one notch is two and five eighths. And we're going to go ahead and do that on all four sides. I did find this project online and I tweaked it so that it would work a little better for us with measurements. Okay, so um, now that once you get all four sides scored, what we're going to do is we're going to score just in each of the four corners. And what that's going to do is allow us to trim and get this cute little basket technique or basket look here. Um, so um, these will eventually be cut, but we do want to score them so that they're, they're all even. Each one of these sections are going to be seven eighths. So um, with one side up on your scoring, we're going to score at seven eighths. And again, we're just going to stop at that square. So stop here. And then we're going to score next at one and three fourths. And then you can skip all the way over here to six and three fourths. And again, at seven and five eighths. So five eighths is the notch beyond the half inch. Okay, and we'll turn it and we're gonna score the same thing. So seven eighths, so I turned it 180 degrees. And again, we're just going to score just in the four corners seven eighths, one and three fourths, six and three fourths, and seven and five eighths. Okay, so next what we want to do is we're going to take our snips and we're going to do some trimming. So what I like to do is we can go ahead and kind of um, just give a quick little fold to all of those um, two and five eighths marks that we have. So what we want to do next is we are going to um, trim out the side that's got the score marks. So this is on the two and five eighths. We're going to turn it and score or trim up again. All right, so in order to get this little dippity do here, we've got to reduce this um, section here. So go ahead and um, turn this back up. And what I like to do is kind of fold it so all of this goes back up here. So we just have this section. We're going to score this at a half an inch. So this was an eight and a half. So we're going to score it at eight inches and then stop on that flap and we can kind of turn it. So we want this section right here, we want this scored at a half an inch because we're gonna turn that down. So if I kind of put that up there, kind of tuck away those that first part of it, score it at eight, that gives me my half inch. Okay, I'm gonna, that's all the scoring we're going to do. It is a lot of scoring, but it's so worth it for this cute little basket, whoops. Excuse me, let me move that. I hit that, trying to get that out of the road. All right, next we're going to, all of these score lines here, 
This is what adds our cute little basket interest on the side. And we'll just take our snips and we're going to snip all of these score marks that we made on the four corners. Flip it around. We'll take that. Hi, Marcy. Thanks for joining. Yeah, this is so unannounced. I just kind of popped in, wanted to share this with you. I was maybe thinking about saving it for my um, Wednesday Facebook Live with you guys, but I thought let's just do a little weekend project together. Okay, so here I just kind of flip all of these around. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to turn in that half inch score line that we made. Okay, so fold that over, give it a good burnish with your bone folder. And I'm using liquid glue for my adhesive of choice for all of this. And I'm going to put some liquid glue down on these tabs. This is going to be our side of the basket here that our little basket weave kind of pattern goes to. Put that down. And I just kind of finger press it down for a little bit. Okay. Once, since we started with an eight and a half by eight and a half piece, um, you'll have a little extra left um, and you can trim your excess down for the handle um, to a one inch by eight and a half. So I like to go ahead and put my handle on first. So I'm gonna put some glue here and oh, I don't know, maybe about a half inch down. Just let that kind of, um, what do I wanna say? I'll just kind of finger press that again. I'm gonna grab the other side, little liquid glue, arch that over. If you want, you can use your bone folder and kind of break that fiber down to make it um, if you want, but I found that we don't really need to that much on this project. Okay, so then we've got our handles. Okay, so um, in order to get this really cute basket weave, look, or, you know, to, um, we are going to bring in these little side flaps. And what I like to do is, um, well, here, let me show you what we're going to do. So here's the sides, and each one of these are going to come up to create that look. So I like to go ahead and start with the inside. You kind of want to work inside out. And again, I'm going to put a little liquid glue on both of these. And we're going to bring these in and up. We don't have to worry too much about um, if there's anything that they don't quite line up or whatever, because we're going to put an embellishment to kind of cover up this. So I just kind of hold that together for just a moment. And then we're gonna take the middle sections. And these kind of, you have to kind of flip them in and out and out of your road a little bit, and that's okay. So I kind of get the ones that I don't need. So the bottom ones we're bringing up, the middle ones we're bringing mostly um, straight, but it's gonna be angled up just a little bit. And don't worry about this intersecting here or not, that's okay. Because again, we're going to cover that up. So I just kind of finger press that. If you feel like you want to have, be a little more hands free, you could always get a clothespin and kind of hold those together, but I don't think you really need to. And then the top one, we're bringing down. Isn't that adorable how that does it? And then that makes that arch because we folded that down a half an inch. Oh my gosh. This basket's so cute and it's big. That's what I like about it too. It actually, you know, you can put a little something in it. So when you have those, um, those presents that maybe are a little more than just one piece of candy, this is a great um, basket to have. All right, so I'm putting again, gonna just repeat the other side. Bring those bottom ones up. And then I'm going to do the middle ones. 
I end up just doing the glue in pairs. If you feel confident, you can put glue on them all at once. And then that one kind of comes in mostly straight, but a little angled up. And finger press it close. And then our last one, the outer one. And this one's coming down. So by pulling this down, that really gives that arch look to it. And then from there, you just kind of decorate it how you like. Isn't that so cute? Ahead of time, what I did is I took um, two of the large daisy punches. Um, this is the daisy punch that's retiring soon. I took two images, punched out two in basic white, and... I offset them, put two of them to make a little fuller looking daisy. And then Stampin' Up! has um, had a, a half inch circle punch and I just um, punched it out of, in this case, so saffron um, and put that at the center, but you can put whatever center that you would like on it. I know there's a lot of dies that are circles too for that. And so I have this on, um, let me get my dimensionals. Let's put that off to the side and on the back of these. And then this is going to cover up our little basket um, intersections here on the weave sections. So see whatever embellishment that you put there is going to cover all of those crisscrossies up. Oh my gosh. It's the cutest. And there you go. I just can't stop making them. So um, what if you like a certain color, you know, you could do, of course, um, all sorts of, um, of the same one. But what I did is I kind of pulled out some of my pastel colors. And here on the descriptions, I actually just put like the subtles. So if you wanted to go all tonal, you could. If you wanted to go all subtles, all brights. These are two in colors. And then these would be from the subtle collections. But how cute. I just love it. And again, here's how much you can put in it. Like here's a couple of Easter eggs. Here's those Hershey's um, bunnies. You know, you could do that. Um, I put on here too that there's um, other ideas because they're so nice and big for it. Um, I, I got thinking, oh my gosh, it's beyond Easter. How cute would this be to do a little Mother's Day um, basket? You know, um, you can still use the daisy here, or you can add the tulip punch or any of your other flowers that you'd like. But maybe for your mom, you know, you can put um, her favorite little accessories, like maybe you want to do some tea, some other type of candy. Maybe you um, bought a piece of jewelry that doesn't come in a box. Just whatever that you'd want. I thought that this would also kind of speaking of tea, like maybe you've got a neighbor that's not feeling good and you want to put together a little care package, you know, it could so do something like that. Um, and then in the fall of the year, change up this to like a craft paper and now you've got a little apple basket. So my goodness, just anytime you need a cute little basket, there you go. Well, um, hi, Linda. Thanks. I'm glad you like them. I just am like fascinated by them. Um, I shared them with my sister who's hosting Easter. She says, oh, let's get some on the table. So um, I'm going to be making these at night while I'm watching TV. They go together. Once you make one, you kind of get the idea of it and it goes fast. I've got some instructions that I'm going to be sharing um, here in a little bit so that it's more of a step by step. I'll probably have it on my blog so you could go there and kind of see the different ones. Okay, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.